Wait. We need to stop. No. No, I'm I'm fine. Okay, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. If you know what's good for you. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Uh, okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches, too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yeah, they're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. Think about it. Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead, for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with, just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? It don't make any sense. They didn't die in vain. I wish I could believe that. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. Trying to guess how far this place is. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Well, good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, 
Rebecca was so out of it, she hadn't settled on her name. It seems fitting. Huh, yeah. I like it. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. To Bonnie. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? Well, it looks a lot better than it did. And maybe my modeling days ain't over. I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. It might sting a little. You think? Uh, holy fucking hell! You need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, does that smart. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Boy, oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. You were right about me giving myself up. I can't believe I was willing to sacrifice Alvin just to hold out a little longer. We should have saved him sooner got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him, not me. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? it? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit. Is that it? I thought you said it was a house. Arvo, that's not what you're taking us to, right? How much further is the house you were talking about? Answer her, goddammit! It's still more walk. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us! Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit! Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. I think we should spend the night here, if it's safe. That's a big if. Well, there's a fence, which would help with walkers. Maybe. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. 
That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. I'm gonna try making a funny face for this guy. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. That's a good sign. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got him. Come on over. It's safe. Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Definitely this week. Well, happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. How can you even tell? Been keeping track of the days. Been a few times I wasn't sure I'd see my next birthday. Well, you did it. Guess that's, uh, worth celebrating. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork waiting to collect. Probably. And what did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and all it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. Feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh, wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> To the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. Nah, I'll keep him warm. He's a tough little guy. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. She saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. That has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. 
Well, that'd explain a few things. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right, all right, it wasn't 10 minutes. Come on, we got a little one around. Sorry, forget I said anything. It's my fault for bringing it up. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. Well, thank you, Clem. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry, it's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change their minds. Well, I think the first thing I'm going to do is go talk to Kenny over here, see if he's okay. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. Yeah, well, I guess since you're too busy surviving, you kind of forget about all that stuff. Kind of sad, actually, when you think about it. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there after Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him, from my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Koch's face. Anything in the world. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. Okay. Well, I understand if you wanna be alone for a while. I get that way too sometimes. Thanks, Clem.
I mean, I, I feel really bad for Kenny. I know he's been through a lot of stuff, more than Clementine has, and man, I, I'm pretty sure he's emotionally broken. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. Will it work? That depends. What is it? It's rum? Probably. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know... Be around. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? You know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? It's really good. Have you had any? You want to sip? It's okay. It just might burn a little. You'll feel it in your nose. No thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> you can be the designated driver then. Cool. But I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now. There aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? Oh, it was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. It was not sugar candy. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Time to not make it weird. Want to sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. I know Arvo probably hates my guts right now. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> Shh, all right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. We just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help.
Yeah, yeah, all right. It looks like he could use it. Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't Leave have... me alone! <laughs> Jesus, Kenny! You knocked the kid out! What was I supposed to do? He was screaming bloody murder! What the hell did you rile him up for? He was tied up. So? What's that got to do with anything? It was under control. You knocked him out with a gun. I was just reacting. I, I didn't have time to... Fuck! It's okay, Kenny. I, I didn't want him hurting anybody. It's been a long day. We should rest up. That kid was defenseless. I know, I know. But we can't do nothing about that now. Let's just get a little rest. Will you take first watch? I mean, I can if you don't All want right. to. Come on, Kenny. Let's go get some sleep. Okay. Yeah. Everybody rest up. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. <laughs>